Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons & Dragons, and I want to talk about the Deadbeat Dungeon Master. And I want to ask you, are you a Deadbeat Dungeon Master? All right, and then I'll give you some advice on how to fix that. All right, let's do it. Okay, so um, the reason why we're talking about this is the new upcoming film, Bookworm. And this movie takes a very close look at a Deadbeat Dad played by Elijah Wood. Yes, uh, Frodo, right? Like... Um, uh, pretty, you know, from Lord of the Rings, uh, and, you know, extremely powerful, um, well-regarded actor, right? And he's doing this film called Bookworm. And this film is about a young girl who loves books and has really, uh, kind of prioritized books as the number one thing in her life. And she's in a traditional family where she has one parent, her mother, who takes care of her. And then something happens to her mother and then her father needs to come back. And her father hasn't been around for 10 years, has not seen her in 10 years, which is pretty traditional family today in America. It's extremely rare for American children to have a mom and a dad who love each other and, like, you know, live in the same home and have, you know, like raise the child together. It's really, that's a very non traditional family in America at this point, right? So she has a traditional family, like one parent who cares for. Her, uh, father is away, hasn't been seen in a decade, traditional family, right? So, um, so she has a deadbeat dad, right? Well, something happens to her mom and the dad has to come back, right? And so somebody says, Hey, you know, your, your daughter is uh, reading a lot of books, but God has no parent, right? Or no functional parent. So you have to come back. So this deadbeat dad comes back to, and says, Hey, I'm here. I'm going to take you on an adventure. And the two of them go off on an adventure. That's the movie, right? But it made me think a lot about deadbeat dads. Now, I want to say something real quick. I want to say, you know, talk a little bit about my own history here. Uh, I didn't have a deadbeat dad. I had an incredible dad uh, who loved me very much. And uh, I was extremely fortunate. And I, might, and I still have him. He's a wonderful person. And I'm very fortunate. And I, I really count myself very fortunate. He did have a deadbeat dad. His dad left him when he was two weeks old, which is astounding to me that he was able to be such a good dad when his dad was a deadbeat dad. So let's talk about what qualifies as a deadbeat dungeon master. If you run Dungeons and Dragons for fun, you are a deadbeat dungeon master in my humble opinion. Let me explain it to you. So first of all, fun is the most ridiculous, useless useless purpose for Dungeons and Dragons ever. And we already know this now because two other uses have already been demonstrated. All right, so let me give you the, so let me give you my evidence for that. So first of all, what can you do with Dungeons and Dragons? Well, you can make your millionaire's friend. You can make your friends millionaires. Who's done this? Matthew Mercer already did it. Uh, everybody on Critical Role at this point, in my humble opinion, I think there's a strong evidence of this, is a millionaire, right? Like these guys are taking meetings with Jeff Bezos. He's a billionaire. I could tell these guys. I tell you right now. It, it, and and if if the guys in uh, Critical Role are not millionaires, it ain't Matthew Mercer's fault. This means they're not doing what much with what that what he gave them, right? He has given each one of them an astounding, unparalleled uh, platform where they able, are able to sell uh, themselves, sell goods, sell their image, sell their voice, sell their narratives, sell everything, right? He is, so that's, that's purpose number one for Dungeons and Dragons. It's already been demonstrated. Make your friends millionaires. Matthew Mercer has already done it, right? Have you done that? If you haven't, you're a deadbeat dungeon master if all you're doing is fun. There are a few others. All right. Let me let me let me give you give me let me give you one more, right? So I bought Legends, uh, I bought Legos, Dungeons and Dragons, Red Dragon's Tail. Right in the Dungeons right in the Lego Dungeons and Dragons Canon Brickback, the instruction book for that, it says, it literally lists, it says Increasingly, many institutions are uh, referring to Dungeons and Dragons therapeutic um, benefits. Right? Lists flat out that many that that increasingly discussion of Dungeons and Dragons as something more than a game has already started and is and is continuing. Right? Which is pretty astounding. I was like, "Whoa! Are you kidding me? That's incredible!" Right? Um, and, uh, you know, listed right there, you know, Lego and Dungeons and Dragons saying, yeah, we're t Dungeons and Dragons is far more in a game. You can use it for, uh, increasingly there is discussion that it, it can have significant therapeutic, uh, benefits. So if you're providing therapeutic benefits with Dungeons and Dragons is exactly like is pointed to in the Lego Dungeons and Dragons, um, 
uh, in the Lego Dungeons and Dragons canon brickback, right? The instructions guides for the Lego Dungeons and Dragons Red Dragon's Tail set. Good on you. You're doing a great job. You're a dungeon master, okay? The third one is mine, right? I believe, and I've been saying it for five years here, that you can use Dungeons and Dragons to learn for... You can use Dungeons and Dragons to do this with every single person at the table. Yourself, the Red Dragon Master, the Blue Dragon Master, the Green Dragon Master, the White Dragon Master, and the Black Dragon Master, right? Everybody at the table, they can all... In every session, they can learn, they can grow, they can improve, and they can transform, right? So that's the third purpose for Dungeons and Dragons. So if you are sitting, your poor Dragon Masters down the table, right... And, oh, we started in a tavern. Oh, you you cut a goblin in half. Oh, you slew the dragon. Did everybody have fun? You are a deadbeat dungeon master. That is the most useless, ridiculous purpose for Dungeons and Dragons that has ever been thought of. If you're running Dungeons and Dragons for fun, you are a are a deadbeat dungeon master, in my humble opinion. Okay. Now, what could you do about that? You could stop. You could switch to my. You could switch to my model. You could switch to the Lego Dungeons and Dragons Red Dragon's Tail model, or you could switch to Matthew Mercer's model, right? And get this: if you fail at any of them, you're not a deadbeat dungeon master. You're a good dungeon master, right? You can attempt and fail to do those things, right? Just like being a dad. If you stay there and you care for your child every day and you suck at it and you fail at it you're still not a deadbeat dad, right? You can fail at helping your child while you're there with them, right? You can fail to provide all the money that's needed. You can you can fail to provide all the, you know, all the education and love and everything that that child really needs as long as you're there with them and you continue to fail and you do not stop trying, you're being a good dad, in my humble opinion, right? Failure is an option. In fact, it's the, it, and it beats tremendously leaving, right? Stay in the saddle, right? And you can do that in Dungeons and Dragons, and you can do that as a dad, in my humble opinion. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. The important part is when I get to hear your humble opinion. When you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider liking, subscribing, and have a fetch millennium.